You have to kickstart it with your stun rod. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. Eesh. Track. I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. Team, move in there. I want tasers on full charge. Ready! One, step back in. Step away! Cage ladder scammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't figure that panel out at all.
Any incidents? You got six kids in the lost and found, 28 down for heat, and some idiot tried to feed ice cream to a triceratops. Your assistant's online too. Zach and Gray are here. Tell her I'll be there in five. My sister's kids. Come on! Hey, don't wander off, all right? Mom's not paying me for babysitting. Uh. Uncle Claire! Uh. <laughs> Zara here is going to take great care of you until I'm done working tonight, okay? Okay, so, um, have fun and take very good care of them, okay? shows are not for the faint of heart and may be disturbing for small children, except the herbivore ones. They're only disturbing for vegetables. Good morning, sirs, madam. Ah, the one day I forget to bring scissors. Oh, come on, who tied this robe? What is it, a reef knot? Maybe it's a bowline? Is it a fisherman's bend? Remember, Dr. Sattler wants us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. As I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. Six-inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Grant! Dr. Ellie! We're ready to try again! I give up. Uh, be careful. That rope's holding up, uh, some, you know, uh... Oh, oh what's it called? Uh... No, it's on the tip of my Delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. One of the other dig sites has turned up something. Ugh. 
All I keep finding are old... Okay, I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. That should stop it from leaning over and going around in circles all the time. Oh, yeah, that's much safer. It was really hard to just balance on it. Velociraptor? Yeah, it's good shape, too. That doesn't look very scary. More like a six-foot turkey. Serve Kamsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. Who do you think you are? Ah. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park. I could get back on schedule. So you two um dig up dig up dinosaurs? Well try to. <laughs> It's a dinosaur. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. <laughs> Dr. Grant, my idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. How'd you do this? I'll show you. Good day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the last creature they come in contact with. So I'm kind of controlling or attempting this. Uh, it's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us: that life uh, 
finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal in eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move. 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. You can barely fit a goat in them. That's better. Now we just add cow. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? Come on, Daisy. We're taking you for a meal. Sort of. Fresh beef, huh? Boy, those raptors eat better than I do. since I stubbed my toe. Someone else must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe.
are they doing? Feeding them. Grandpa! Kids! He missed you. <laughs> These will be your transports for the afternoon. No drivers. Oh, no, 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 no drivers. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. That T-Rex isn't going to show its face until we find out where its lunch got to. Stupid goat. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Huh. Sorry. I don't think he's going to make an appearance today. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. If... Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. If one of us examines her droppings, we might be able to figure out what's wrong with her. And uh, by one of us, I mean you, Dr. Sattler. Let's see. Rats. We'll have to track down everything we need to make her feel better again.
because you're dilated. Is this West Indian lilac? Yes, uh, we know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. Prehistoric plants are surprisingly sturdy. There's no trace of lilac berries. All right. I was wondering where I dropped my ice pop. <laughs> uh, I'll let you keep it. Suffering from meliotoxicity. I guess that stuff really does help grow big vegetables. I'm impressed, Dr. Sattler. She's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. Not part of the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. Thank you. 